Uh, yes. Here we go. Life pods 17 and 19 are the ones we got to find. So up uh, there, 17. Let's go. Let's go visit them first. It's dark, but it's okay. We are brave. We have a fast boy helping us. So we're going to go. We're going to go to 17. Then we're going to wrap around and go to uh, 19 directly after that one. I'm sure this can't go wrong at all. We shall, we shall come across that answer here momentarily. I'd like to say the music kicked in at the perfect time there. What the fuck is that thing? Let's go investigate it. Hi, you don't seem hostile. Would, would you mind if I scanned you real quick? You have a lot of things on you. A reef back. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, something is hostile. What the fuck? Was that that thing hit me or something bit me? Something, something didn't like me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Biter. Okay, yes. Okay, I see now. The answer is obvious. The clue is, in fact, in the name. Okay, now, are any of you going to give me trouble while I scan the reef back? Look, I just want to scan this because I am curious about your nature. This is taking a while. Okay, Reefback Leviathan. There's another one. Oh boy, there's gonna be a lot of you, aren't there? Okay, well, let's take a look at the info we got on that thing. This vast life form is in excess of 30 meters long and has been designated Leviathan class. Fortunately, it feeds exclusively on plankton-like life forms in the water. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, lifespans likely enter through many centuries. Jesus Christ. Should they survive their initial growth cycle? For the first few decades, their smaller size would make them vulnerable to carnivorous leviathans. I don't want to know what a carnivorous leviathan looks like. Sociable, uh, seen traveling in small ponds and communicating by an echoing call. Behavior is consistent with low-level sentience. Uh, harbor plants, small fish, and metal-rich barnacles. So you say. Well... I might take some of these metals, if you don't mind. I don't really think you do. I don't even think you register that I'm here. But just in case, I'm not going to be here for long. That's shiny. Shiny typically means important. Can I use anything with this? Yeah. Yes. Ah, copper. Copper. Copper is good. I will take the copper. Now, I don't want to get bitten again, so I'll come back and investigate you a little bit later. Wow. That's really cool. They're basically like, so they're basically like floating ecosystems in their own right. That's, that's really neat. That's a very cool concept. This game has some really neat ideas for its eco, for, for its entire world. And what is this? A laser cutter fragment. That's going to be necessary. Are we going to get a laser pistol? That would be helpful. Sea moth fragment. That's going to be very interesting. I just, I'll be honest, I just thought it was a big old rock. I mean, it does, I mean, at first I thought it might be that, but then I saw the tentacles and I'm like, no, that thing is alive. Jesus. Again, I know it's non-hostile, but swimming next to this thing, it doesn't feel good. It still feels a little bit unnerving, mainly because I'm just coming to terms with how fucking small I am compared to everything here. Seeing those, just seeing this thing, these things in the distance and hearing the, those low rumbles coming from them is just like, <laughs> I know you're not threatening, but you certainly look like it. Ozzy's log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared, and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird-looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. Well, I think it's safe to say poor Ozzy is dead. Let's go back down and investigate the rest of that area, because I believe there. Oh, well, okay, that was a lot of pop in. <laughs> that was uh, very noticeable. Whoops. Okay, we'll just pretend that didn't happen. God, the noises are really unsettling. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, that's good news. Uh, I assume there's ways to protect ourselves from pressure. I assume we're going to need a sea moth for that sort of thing. Oh, boy. Well, that is very deep. 
that's very deep. Oof. I know we're gonna need to go deeper eventually because we need to find some more, uh, different types of metals, and we're not gonna find them on the surface. That looks interesting. That's- that's wreckage. That's wreckage from the Aurora. Uh, well, I also see a sand shark. So, okay. I'm gonna go deal with that sand shark, and I'm gonna go- Oh, I'm low on, uh, I'm low on, uh, water, actually. I need to go find some- Yes, thank you. I just noticed that. I'm gonna go find some pink boys first before we continue on. Because this is quite a journey we're going on, so we need to make we need to make preparations. We're going to make some preparations, because this is gonna be a long journey. We're gonna be out for a while, so we're gonna make some water, we're gonna make some food, and we're gonna store all the stuff that I don't need immediately on me. And, uh, we're going to make our way to pod 19. Peeper? Peeper? Come to me, Peeper! Come to me! Thank you. What's a stalker doing this far out over here? Okay, well you're a long way from home. Well, if you just stick over there, I won't bother you. You don't bother me, I won't bother you, you know how this works. In fact, actually, somebody- I did actually hear about this. Peeper, come here. Let's see if this works. Stalker! Come here, boy. Here, yeah, boy. Here, boy. Come here. Here, boy. There you go. Ow! 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 No, okay, apparently- up. Uh, uh, well, he's not attacking me. Okay. I guess we just have a mutual understanding. That's fine. I can settle for that. Okay. So, let's see, you hold it down, uh, scroll up, ah, okay, okay. We'll, we'll keep, we'll, 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 we'll drain that battery as much as we can. Oh, radio message. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former. But that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Cool. Rescue is coming. I imagine it's not gonna be that simple. Either way, though... Let us be on our way... to... Pod 19. Back on the old dusty trail. It's not really dusty, it's more like old, dark, murky trail. I'm gonna turn the, uh, flashlight on. I just realized that's over a thousand meters away. Uh, get comfortable, folks. This is gonna be a long one. I'm pretty sure those growls I'm hearing are still the reef backs, but you never know. Okay, that's probably what we need the cutting laser for, to actually access that area. Uh, can you add map markers? Hi, yeah. You're close. Whew. Seeing you in the dark is even more unsettling. Uh, there's gotta be something around here we can scan, yeah? Look, I know you're peaceful and you really don't give a shit that I'm here. Okay, let's, uh, get some oxygen. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. There's four of them. Holy shit. There's five! Good god! There's a whole fucking colony here. Oxygen. I am aware! Hey! So what does that do? 3D display in a center of a room stores local topograph uh, topographical data. Systems can scan for and pinpoint particular materials. Oh, that's handy. Uh, remotely controlled drones can scan the area up to 500 meters in range. Okay, so I imagine you put that on your Seamoth. Nice. Well, that's a base module. Okay, gotcha. Seamoth fragment. Yes! Okay, we're two out of three for that one. Is one of those bigger than the other? I swear to God, one of those is bigger. Oh, I hear a lot. That's... <laughs> that's deep. That's really deep. Oh, God, that's really deep. Okay, come on, Seth. You've... you've dealt with scarier things before. You've dealt with bigger problems before than this. Being stranded alone on a giant water world, this is nothing. Let's... go... be brave. I'm probably gonna need better oxygen tanks before I can get this low. We're gonna seam off. Uh, you... Open time capsule. Let me... Let's see what we got in here. 
Oh, water. I'm okay with that. I am perfectly okay with that. Also, I- it is- Oh god. Uh, I just realized how deep underwater we are. Uh, hmm. Let's get to the surface quickly. Oh god, that is unsettling! Okay. I guess we can't- I guessing we can't get there yet. If we try, we're going to end up drowning. Let's go ahead and save here real quick. They did such a fucking good job of making this place look like an actual ocean. Like, holy fuck. Bam. Diamond! I don't- You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at 3 million credits. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get right on that. I'll get right on that. <laughs> how, how the fuck do they expect me to pay that kind of shit? I was probably like a- I was probably like a janitor on that goddamn ship. More of these salt deposits, cause these make food that lasts for a while. Speaking of food, let's go ahead and consume. Uh, did I drop it? I did. Okay, that's not what- that's the literal opposite of consume, Seth. Keep trying, you'll make it someday. Uh, hi there, Sand Shark. Don't worry about me. I, uh, I won't buy- I won't fuck with you if you- if you- if you fuck with me, though, I will definitely fuck with you. In fact, I will fuck you up if you fuck with me. You're gonna fuck with me? You're gonna fuck with me, boy? You're gonna- you're gonna- you're gonna do that? Are you gonna do that? Are you going to be fucking with me? Are you going to? No? Good. I seriously don't want to get bitten though, so I'm just gonna grab this floating outcropping. That's not an issue at all. Listen, what in the fuck did I just say? Repeat to me in your alien growls what I just said. I feel you will find the answer to your life problem at this current moment. God, that growling is so unsettling. Listen, listen, buddy. I am not here to fuck with you, okay? I am not here to fuck with you. Okie dokie, you can just go the fuck away and mind your own business. I will mind my own and we will all be happier as a result. I'm gonna get this egg. Because why the fuck not? If that was your kid, well fuck you, he's mine now. Floating air pump, compass, rebreather. Conserve oxygen when diving deeper, absorbs and recycles CO2 into breathable air. Yes! Oh, scan myself. Okie dokie. That is normal. Good. I am perfectly average. As is uh, the case in many things in my life, I'm not outstanding in many ways. Locker was. Wait, did that- Oh wait, I've actually- you can actually name them? Hold on a second, what? <laughs> oh, you can! Oh, you can actually name them, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> okay, so you can actually name them. Uh... What should we name this one? George? I like George. We're gonna name this one George. We'll- we'll name this one Freeman. Hello Freeman, how are you do- how are you doing? Of course you- <laughs> I forgot we had that gigantic creature egg. Well, considering- considering Freeman's mind, I think having you hold on to all the salt would be very fitting. So yeah, that works. Magoo. Fuck it. We're naming this one Magoo. Uh, I foresee unfortunate implications from the naming system. Where did I put that lube? Oh, that's right, it's in George. <laughs> Name this one not villain for comedic purposes. Okay. And it fits. Hello, not villain. Louis. Lu Louis, wait, hold on, I misspelled that. One second. Louis. This is the- this is Louis the Locker, everybody. Say hello. Let's assess the situation real quick. We need to go out and we need to get more silver. We just need to get one more. So if, I, I feel like if we just like search around the uh, the kelp forest area, we'll find some. Beep. That's lead. Lead. Oh, wait, that was silver. I think that was silver. Was that silver? Yep. Nice. Okay, so we can go ahead and make our rebreather in the tube we trust. Yeah, the tube of stuff has not yet failed us. You are correct. The tube of stuff has led us to enlightenment time and time again. And then we're gonna go take a look at that distress signal, and then hopefully find the last part of the Seamoth. Or Seamoth. See, the reason why I say- That sounded like an explosion. I swear to god I just heard an- did anybody else hear that? I thought I just heard an explosion somewhere. 
Okay, well, either way, uh, let's take a look at what we can make here. Rebreather, where did you go? Where did you go? There you are. Now we need a wiring kit, which we can make. And haboosh! Nice. We do need to get that radiation suit. It's not actually, what do we need to make that again? Oh, we just need two. I can make that right now. I could honestly make that right now. I have the lead for that. I have the lead for that. All I need to get was, uh, what else did I need? I needed the fiber mesh, which I also have. You know what? Fuck it. I got everything else I need. Uh, Magoo, where were you? You're the one who had the fiber mesh in you. Uh, where were you? You were up here. Yeah, of course. Magoo's got to be above everybody because of course he does. All right. So let's just go ahead and make that fucking radiation suit right now. That's taking a while. There we go. Ah, nice. Let's get rid of these floaters. I'm not really using them. Put you uh, here. Go. Be free and get the fuck off of me. Be free. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Nature will take its course. <laughs> It killed me, but it did. <laughs> fucking floater just speeding away, mounting a fucking boomerang, like, onward, valiant steed! <sighs> that was fucking brilliant. I love that. <sighs> Harbo, thank you for the 100 bits. I feel like we just witnessed the birth of a new species. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this one, we're gonna make it Al09. We're gonna make this one Al. Did I misspell? I- AK09. No, that's incorrect. That is incorrect. Uh, we need more food. We need a bit more food. Uh, you. A Gary fish, you say? That's an amazing name. <laughs> that is an amazing name. Uh, hold on. I need to see why we- why we decided to give this- this beautiful creature the name Gary. You know what? Hold on. Gary? Be, <laughs> Be free, Gary. I can't eat you. You're you're too pure for this world. Well, let, let's check what let's check what Gary is all about. Slow moving and curious herbivore. Camouflage indicates adaptation for evasive behavior on the ocean floor. Eye stalks behave more active during Thanks, daylight Daddy. hours, but slow and docile. Meow. Uh, more active during the daylight hours, but slow and docile at all times. The Gary Fish's survival depends on a combination of camouflage and predators who can get a more filling meal elsewhere. Well, this poor thing. This poor thing. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not gonna eat- I'm not gonna eat it. It's gonna- it's gonna- it's gonna live a happy life around my thing until I inevitably have to move on. But until then... Until then, Gary shall live a happy, peaceful life. So with that said... We have our rebreather now. So, you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. Off to the deep, dark depths we go. This is going to go great, and it's going to be fine. I still hate those noises. Excuse me, uh, stalker. I don't need. I get out of here, stalker. Yes. God, you are close. Also, there is a. I said there was a cave nearby. This this cave had to be important. This cave had to be important, yeah? Otherwise, it wouldn't have pointed it out. There's probably a bunch of materials in here that I need. Yep, gold. What the hell is that thing? It looks like it has teeth, but let's see. A regress shell. The specimen is composed of a complex series of regressing rings connected by tendrils. Okay, so those are... Those are not teeth. Those are just bioluminescent lies. Oh. Oh, God. The conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life force. On that Depending note, an artificial structure somewhere in the region. 30 seconds. I'm going to get some oxygen. Those are noises I don't like. I think I see the artificial structure. 
What the fuck is that wormy bastard? I feel safer with my knife out. You don't look friendly, but that's okay. You don't need to be, because I'm not going anywhere near you. Oh, this isn't anything useful. Good. Okay, well, looks like I gotta go deeper. Hi, 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 you're a bit close. You are, in fact, just a little bit nearby. And you're making a lot of noise. I'm gonna leave you to it. I have this crazy sneaking suspicion that we still need a higher capacity oxygen tank to go down there safely. I'm gonna leave that be for the moment. And I'm gonna go look for the Seamoth parts. Last we found one was closer to this area, I think. So let's head this way. Oh my good sweet Christ. It is so fucking dark. Oh my god. Oh god, I don't like this. I don't like this. It is so dark. It is so goddamn dark. Oh, radio message. I'll- I'll be back in a moment. Fuck, I know what those gro I know what that growling noise is, but every time I hear it, I still get nervous. Okay, we need a laser cutter to get through here. I'm- I'm guessing that this is where the last part for the Seamoth is at. We need a laser cutter to get in there, though. Don't play that music! Don't do that! That ain't good no- Ooh, yes! Never mind, I'm- I'm dumb. Oh, joy of joys. Okay, let's head back. We're gonna listen to the message. We're gonna build ourselves a Seamoth. And we're gonna be fine! Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's- Much obliged, partner. Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. Oh. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers for the weather holes. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Sounds good. Okay, so we need titanium ingots. We need power cells. We need glass. We need lubricant. We need lead. Let's get this shit built before they get here. Okay. We got 30 minutes. We should still have enough time. The Seamoth is a fast, safe mode of transport. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Oh, I, uh, I'll remember that for sure. Oh, my mini sub, give it to me. Yes. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a wondrous thing of glory. On our way. Sunbeam, come help us. Holy shit, this thing is fast. I love the noise it makes. It's kind of like the uh, the thing from the Jetsons. I'll name it once we get to the I'll name it once we get to the landing site. For the moment, let's just let's just have a nice leisurely roll across the uh, across the ocean surface, why don't we? Ah, isn't this Isn't this lovely? Isn't this just grand? Also, let's take a, a celebratory drink of water. This is much nicer. Let's just hope we don't run accidentally run into a reef back while we're going this way. I don't want to look below me, to be honest. If you, if I'm going to be completely honest, I really don't. Yeah, I still don't. Still don't. I think we left way too early. I think we did leave a bit too early. You're right. You know, we got time. We got time. Let's let's double back. Let's go listen to that radio message. Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify- Excuse me? I'm sure it's- Wait, what? Listen? Uh... What the fuck was that? Uh... What are you? Is that a fucking elder? Is that a goddamn elder? That's... Excuse... Where did it go? Where did it go? I'm just gonna ignore that. You know what? No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna listen to that radio thing. Because we've got time. It's It took us about two minutes to... I heard that. 
I heard that. Yeah, we'll 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 wait it we'll we'll just hang around the pod until about like ten minutes. Then we'll then we'll just skedaddle our way over there. Yeah, let's go listen to that radio message, then we'll head out and start uh, scavenging around with our brand spanking new piece of goodness piece of goodness. What the fuck did I mean by that? Piece of equipment. So let's hear this message. Playing partially translated broadcast. <laughs> Subjects designated mode hunting, analyzing, sharing subject locations with other agents. Um, so, so what you're telling me is that was Advent that we just fucking saw, those were elders. <clears throat> it's not a problem, I'm sure. Not an issue. Not an issue. None whatsoever. Is what I will continue to tell myself. Uh, let, let's, let, let's, 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 let's make some, let's just use those, that creep find to make some lubricant for the future. Uh, just in case, uh, I need something else to make it with, because I imagine I'm gonna need a lot of this. <clears throat> Seth, buddy, you doing okay? Not particularly, if I'm gonna be completely honest, no. But I'll- I'll endure. I'll be fine. I'm- I'm confident I'll be okay. I've got a- I've got a Seamoth. What could possibly go wrong? A trash can? <laughs> what valuable knowledge that I have just uncovered. What- uh, What artifacts, articles from the ancient world I have just- I- I have just- uh, it's a fucking trash can. What more do you want from me? <laughs> I think that's a different... Yeah, I think this is... Look! 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 Do you like it? It's nice, isn't it? Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. A stasis rifle fragment, you say? A desk. Show me thine secrets piece of furniture. And swivel chair. Lord knows that this is the knowledge of the ancient world that we need to survive. And bench! Fuck the PDA, the bench is far more important. I was trying to listen to the majesty of the ocean, sir. You just had to come along. You just had to come along and ruin it. Would you kindly go away? Thank you. Do I do I, do I come around screaming at you? Maybe, but only because you scream at me. In fact, complete. Foreign bacteria counters reached statistically significant levels. No adverse effects detected. Be vigilant for symptoms. Oh. So I now have I, I got space aids. Nice. Excellent. That's not a problem, I'm sure. Well, if we're gonna get space aids, then I don't think there's a whole lot I can do about that. Thank you. That's not much, is it? Ah, I see. It literally is like Sonic. You just like run into the bubbles and it just and it goes all burp, burp, and you get oxygen. You get oxygen. <laughs> you get oxygen. Fucking Christ! You get oxygen back. I'm I am a stupid man. I'm sure we'll meet with the Sunbeam crew. We'll have a big laugh. And horrifying tales will be told of the many creatures of the deep that I have discovered. I will be gifted millions upon millions of dollars for being the, for, for like opening up a whole new realm of scientific study into a completely unknown alien world. And I will also, I am 100% confident will be 100% reimbursed for the psychological and physical damage I have sustained on this planet. Nothing bad is going to go wrong whatsoever. I'm gonna get off this rock, or this ball of water and rock, and I'm gonna be well on my way to getting back to a normal life. We're fine. Everything is perfectly normal in Seth Town. That noise is nothing to worry about. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, hold on. Well, holy shit, dry land. This is, uh... 
This would make a great place for a base. That, that, that doesn't look human made. Uh, that, that does not look human made at all. Edible. High water content. Give me, give me. Oh, fucking inventory. Get to, uh, Okay. No, I didn't want to drop that. I want to eat that. It's good. It's delicious. It's good for me. Ooh. Oh, this is super good fucking. Did I drop it? I did. Fuck. I'm so used to right clicking to use shit. But wow, that's really good. That's really good. Don't forget the time. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm aware. We're, we are, we are at the landing zone. We got like just seven minutes to just sit and chill and just enjoy a nice day on the fucking beach. It's, it's, it's rare. It's very rare that we get to just, over the last couple of hours, we get to just sit and enjoy the sights. But of course, my curiosity cannot be sated, and I'm gonna go take a look over here real quick. Oh, hello. A cave crawler. Is that a head crab? That looks like a head crab to me. Ow! Ow! Little bitch! Where the fuck? Alright, alright, get over here. Just, 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 just. Yep, yeah, you, 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 you just stay over there. You stay, you sit in your corner and you think about what you've done. Hello. Let's see. The carbon-based device is lighter than it looks and features a symbol which resembles a U, lit up in purple. Despite the onboard power still functioning, algae growth on the exterior indicates it was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. While the technology is far beyond Federation levels and there is no obvious way to interface with it, it should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of the device if necessary. Well, I'll pick that up. I'm gonna shove it in my face. Cause that seems safe. Let me just self-scan here real quick. Yeah, still infected. That has not changed. I'm bouncing on uh, architecture. That's the... Uh, oh, I, can I not? Oh, no, I can. I can get closer. Cool. Uh, there's the lovely wreckage of my one true hope of the of ever getting off of this place. Well, it used to be, but Sunbeam is almost here. So that means that I can... I could just go. I could just leave. Nothing's gonna go wrong. Absolutely nothing could possibly go wrong and leave me stranded here forever. Uh, did not nothing, nothing whatsoever. I don't know where you even got that insinuation from. Let's also not ignore the fact that we apparently have fucking elders hunting us. You know, that's not an issue at all. You know, it's perfectly natural. Perfectly okay. Nothing, nothing horrendous will result from that, I'm sure. We got three minutes to just kind of wander around and explore this beach. This is a pretty damn big island. Holy shit. More of those little jumpy bastards. If they, if you jump at me, I am going to stab you in the face. Whatever constitutes as a face for you. Oh, fuck. My inventory. God damn it. Fuck, fuck. It's gold. Oh, it's... it's eh, eh, that is gone. That is gone. That is gone. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. That... I am... I am not, I am not chasing that thing. Oh, hello. Device matches no known technologies and is likely alien in nature. Power is being routed via the terminal uh, to the nearby force field. The technology is far beyond anything encountered before by the Federation. Nonetheless, there's a good chance it functions like a regular lock and only requires the correct kind of key. Hmm. I wonder if it's this exact matching tablet I found. Aha. I'm not going in there yet. I'm not going in there yet, because I got a thing I got to wait for. I got people. I got a rescue party coming, I'm sure. 40 seconds. 40 seconds until my totally real and actually arriving rescue party comes to my aid. They're just going to arrive by demanding the credits you owe. Please don't ruin this obvious rescue party for me. What the hell? What is happening? Why is that moving? Um... Is that a... Uh, is it gonna shoot the moon? Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. 
Uh, is that a cannon? Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Hold on. No turning back. Man. Guys, guys, I think that's a cannon. Guys, I think that's a cannon. Guys? Ten. Nine. Eight. Uh, oh, fuck. Guys? He's coming from the building? Oh. Change course. Sweet Jesus. Now you know what happened to the Aurora. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Let's have a moment of silence for our only hope of getting out of here. I have a feeling that might have been my fault, and now I'm more tempted than ever to go inside and see what the fuck that thing is. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's where I'm gonna end the stream. This chapter is, uh, finished? I guess we really are, we get really are on our own, aren't we? But with that said, you all have a good night. I'll see you next time. Harbo, thank you for the 100 bits. Good night, Seth. Thanks for the stream. Not a problem. Thanks for coming. Y'all have a good night. I will see you next time. Fuck. If you want to catch these streams way before they appear on YouTube, then be sure to go follow me at twitch.tv slash Sithorvin. I stream every weekend, and I would love to see you there. If you want to keep up to date with this channel, then be sure to like this video, hit subscribe, and click that bell icon so you don't miss a single upload. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.